Hi everybody, how are you doing today? I hope that you are doing fine. I know that it has been a little while since we have had a video where we just sit down and talk. What I do, um, sometimes I know that people think that I am not responding to your messages. What I tend to do is that with the messages that I get on Instagram, sometimes comments under the post, you probably think that I am ignoring them. However, what I, what I intend to do and what I have been doing is that I have been gathering the questions and when it gets to a certain number, like it is today, then I compile a video, I compose a video, and that is what I will be doing today. So today I have a bit of Q&A where I have five questions that have been posed and what I'm going to do is that I'm going to answer them. So going forward, because I know that, you know, on this video, we do a bit of, it's a workout channel, but I am also conscious of the fact that we need to pause, we need to sit and discuss what has been going on as well. So I'll be answering those questions today. And this is what I will be doing going forward as well. Okay, so the first questions, this question says, well done on your workout journey. What would you say to those who struggle to find time to exercise? First, I'm going to say thank you for, for, um, for, for acknowledging that I have actually started the workout journey. All right, and I'm going to say thank you as well for your question. With regards to what I would say to people who struggle to exercise, the first thing is that I would say that you do not have to, you don't, don't think that you need to be doing 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes each time. You have to start somewhere. So if you can only do fit in two minutes of exercise, if you can only fit in three minutes, then that is a start. So perhaps one way of starting is on your bed. So before you get out of your bed, you could start by doing some stretches that you see. Gradually, as you become, as it becomes a routine, then I am sure that you will develop a bit of structure where you will be able to improve, increase the time that is allotted for exercising each day. Some people exercise better, find it easier to exercise when they are at the gym. So I do home workout, but I must say that I have tried, I've done gym workout in the past. So I'm going to say that you have to find the type of workout that, that suits you and suits your lifestyle and everything like that. Because some people say that they find it difficult to stay motivated when they are doing it alone. If you are that person and you need that extra motivation, then, then perhaps going to the gym would work out better for you. Otherwise, why not just call somebody over a friend? You could make arrangement to go walking, even walking guys, that is some form of exercise. You just need to start somewhere in a nutshell. So that is that was the first question. Moving on to the second question. And this is a quite recent one. Why do you fold your hands in your recent video? Is that more effective? Okay, so this is recent. So this is a video on this channel. I think I posted it just this week. It is something to do with a 14 day channel ch um, challenge ch challenge i'm having problems with my words just now okay so it's that 14 days challenge um yes i i know the exact routine that the person is talking about when you fold your arms so um let me see if i can just a minute guys so i know that it was one like this and then i brought my feet up like this right that is to engage the core. So you know that we are big on engaging the core muscles um, just about now. So when you fold your arms, instead of 
doing the normal thing where you would just have your arm and go up and down when you are exercising. When you fold your arms, you are actually forcing the core muscles to engage. So if you try it, if you're watching this video, if you want to pause and just try it, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to put the link in the description section or you could go back to that video that says 14 day um, somatic. I think that's what it said. It was posted on, let me see it. It was posted on, I think it was the 3rd of July that it was posted. So if you go back to that, you will see that the first exercise that is in that workout, I you just look at how it is done. And what I want you to do is to try it. And you will realize that it is, it, it is a bit harder when you actually fo fold your arms. Why it is harder? Because, because in order for you to bring up your leg, your foot, the way that I'm doing it, and the way that you will see it, you will realize that your core muscles is doing most of the work. And in order for you to do the, um, get your core muscles to do the work, remember that there is a special way of doing that. And I'm going to leave that for a bit because I noticed that something is there about the core muscles. So just to say that with the, I'm doing that because it forces the core muscles to work even more. And yes, it is more effective that way. Just try it. Okay. So that's number two. Number three says, um, says, you keep telling us to engage our core in your workout videos. What does that mean and how does that help the process? Okay. So when I say engage the core, what I mean or how to engage the core is by inhaling. So you know when someone says to pull in your stomach, pull in your stomach, a lot of us are accustomed to that. You know when we get a certain type of dress and we want to look really nice, we pull in our stomach a bit, ladies. Um, I, I, yeah, I know some of you are not going to acknowledge that, but just to say that, yes, so when you say pull in the stomach, that's at the start of engaging your core. However, when you are pulling in your stomach, it is not the one that you just go in one way and then you stop breathing you know when you pull in your stomach you stop breathing that's not the one there is one a type that goes up so you're pulling in your stomach and you almost feel it in your in your chest that's the one so you feel it going through your rib cage up your chest and you just stop so at the moment i have just engaged my core what that means is that I have pulled in my stomach just a bit, but I am still talking. So when you engage your core, when you're pulling in your stomach, going up, 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 and then stop right up here, it should not be so deep that you cannot breathe, that you cannot talk. Because if you notice, I'm still talking. The reason for me saying engage in your core, so that is what it means to engage your core. The reason for doing that is that there are some muscles that are deep inside your, inside the stomach, inside your belly, inside your abdomen, guys. That is, you know, hidden to a certain extent by the organs. And don't come for me, guys. I'm not in the medical field or anything like that. But I just know that there are some muscles that are so deep. They are hard to get it, get to. And in order for you to engage them, in order for you to exercise them, that is the only way to do it, to engage the core. When you do that, especially when you're doing your abdominal exercises, what it does is that it takes off the pressure from off your lower back. So if you do not engage your core muscles, when you are doing your abs exercises, then most of the work is being done by your lower back. Now you know that a lot of people struggle with back pain and it's usually the lower back. Guys, remember your spine is delicate and because the spine is delicate, you want to take the pressure from off your back. 
So the way to take your the pressure from off your back is by engaging the core. When you're pulling your tummy and allow the abdominal muscles, allow the core muscles to do the work instead, then your muscles in your back, your spine will not have to do a lot of work. So that is why it is important for you to engage your core muscles, one, so that you can take off the weight, off the, take off the pressure from off your lower back, your lower spine when you're exercising. And two, you want to reach those deeply buried muscles in your abdomen so that you can lose the weight from off your tummy as well. I am currently going through the process, guys, because for me, remember, I am not perfect. Remember, guys, I always say that we are growing together. So when I learn something, when I learn something new, I come and I share it with you as well. So I have recently learned what, how to engage my core properly. And remember, guys, that it comes with practice as well. And once you learn to engage your core muscles, then, of course, you should see more better results when you are exercising your abs, right? So that is what the core muscles are for. That is why you need to engage them. I should say thank you so much for that question as well. Number four of five, remember there are five questions. Number four said, um, is saying, oh, you had shown us a boxing bag that you bought from Temu, Temu. I have been waiting to purchase one, but I've been waiting to see you use your you use yours before buying mine. Can you use it in your videos and do a review, please? Thank you for your question. And yes, guys, I have the bag right here. So yes, it is true. Perhaps even three, probably four months ago. This is still my boxing bag. It's not inflated nor anything like that. If you recall, when I bought the bag, I said that I need um, need to get sand because the instruction says that to get the, ba the bag to stand up properly, not be moving around, guys, you need to either put water in the bottom of the bag or sand. While I'm talking, I am sure that you're seeing the, 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 the inset which shows that I actually have the sand. It is just for me to find the time to get the bag up and running. So soon and very soon, I am going to do a review. I'm going to um, get the bags, get my boxing bag up and going, and then I will do a review on that very soon. Thank you for your question as well. The final question, um, it's not so much of a question. It says, I love your channel because you add variations to your workout. Could you do more exercises with the vagus nerve? nerves? Yes. Um, thank you for your question. I am going to definitely do more exercises that will force the engagement of, I should say as well, thank you so much. It is true what I try to do on this channel is to include different, different exercises because um, it's never advisable for you to be exercises or, or be, yeah, be being exercised in the same muscles over and over. In order to get the full body workout, you need to exercise the different, different muscles. And that is why I have different, different types of exercises. So you'll see that I'll come with dance, I'll come with Zumba, I will come with, so, um, I, I will come with Pilates, I will come with somatic exercises, I will come with just the different, different types, Tabata exercises. You will see me coming with the different, different types. I have done one with the vagus muscles and yes, thank you. I am going to continue. I will add more variations and I will include more of that as well. So this brings us to the questions. And I just to add to say, um, 
the main exercise that is on the channel when i say the channel when you just come onto the channel the first exercise that you will see is one to do with somatic it's a somatic exercise i'm so proud that it has now gotten i think it's over 50 to 2000 views on it that is the exercise in the comment section that is where people continue to put the type of exercises that they would want me to do so lest i forget what i wanted to do is to get on that just i'm definitely going to do more exercises with this but just to let others know that um that is the exercise video that people have been adding their preferences to and as much as possible i have tried to produce a variation of exercises as well and at this point i should say thank you so much if you have gotten to the end of this video thank you so much and i want to say as well welcome to all the new subscribers i know that whenever we we are on this channel it's a lot of just exercising 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 but you know every now and then i'm going to stop we are going to pause we are going to reason because you know we are learning from each other thank you for watching this video if you have not yet subscribed remember to subscribe remember to like because the likes is what helps the algorithm the likes that you put on the videos that's what helps to um youtube to push out the video to more people and i'm so grateful people for your contribution as well and i should also say that i have a second channel and it is destiny's diary uncut so remember to check out that channel as well thank you for watching this video people and until i upload another video which more or less is going to be a workout video i say as usual people peace